Hey there Unsolved Mysteries fans, where would Legacy back at you with another video. So, you know, this case I've seen a couple of different times. Uh, this case is the murder of Gary Simmons, um, who is who was believed to be murdered by a guy named Tom Dixon. Uh, you know, like I said, I've seen this case a couple of times, so I know it I know it pretty well. It's been a little while since I've seen it, but I'll uh, I'll do it. So uh, basically I got Basically, as usual, uh, I have the details of the case in front of me on Unsolved Mysteries uh, Wikia, and I'll, I'll read you the details and, then, uh, and the results, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. So here we go. So in 1991, a Missouri bus driver named Tyrone Rollins discovered the remains of Gary Simmons in a cave near the bus garage. Uh, police reopened the investigation and discovered that Gary, who had vanished in October of 1974, may have been murdered by a man named Tom Dixon. On the day before Gary had vanished, he learned that Tom had a purebred horse to sell. The next day, Tom met Gary at Gary's office, and the two soon left, and Gary told his secretary that he would, that they would return shortly, but did not say where they were going. <clears throat> Fifteen minutes later, Gary called his secretary and told her to write a check to Tom uh, for $30,000. Uh, Tom arrived and picked up the check, and he later met with Gary to get his signature, although nobody knows where that was. The last time Gary was seen alive was at a truck stop. A few hours later, Tom arrived at a salvage yard driving uh, Gary's Lincoln Continental car and asked if it could be flattened to avoid all traces of identification. <coughs> Sorry, guys, something caught my throat there. Okay, so anyway, um, but the salvage man suggested that uh, Dixon put the car in the Missouri River. Uh, Dixon was last seen cashing Gary's check at a bank. The bank manager of whom Gary, of whom Gary was one of his best customers, approved the check and also suggested if Dixon was interested in opening an account with him as well. Tom Dixon declined, claiming that he was in debt and needed the cash to retire um, said debts. <clears throat> the next day, Tom Dixon was dropped off by a friend at a truck stop and was never seen again. Six months later, Gary was uh, Gary's car was pulled from a, from a river. The police have no idea what happened to the two men until Gary's skeletal remains were located in 1991. Authorities believe now that Dixon murdered Gary over a bogus horse deal. So here's the results. Uh, still wanted. As Unsolved Mysteries was filming this story, a new witness named Roy Hilton uh, came forward. Roy knew both Gary and Tom and claims that the horse deal was not bogus and that Gary had actually shown him the horse. Roy believes that Gary may have uh, been killed over the black market gasoline uh, because Gary's gas station had been failing. As many in the oil and gas station business um, business had been hit hard by the 1973 oil crisis. The case is now considered even more complicated than before. Police believe that Tom Dixon may know who killed Gary Simmons or may actually be the killer, but police only have enough evidence to an arrest warrant for auto theft. In the stealing and subsequent destruction of Gary's vehicle, um, so Dixon is now in his 80s, and authorities suggest that he is very likely to be dead. <clears throat> so, um, even with this new witness um, coming forward and saying that he knew that he knew Tom and Gary, and that Tom actually did have a horse that he was going to be selling Gary, um, I still think Tom murdered Gary. I, you know, it's just, it's very fishy to me that, um, <clears throat> that Tom would, um, would, you know, jack his car and then go to the crusher or the salvage yard and want it to get crushed. And then, you know, basically uh, destroyed it by, um, driving it into the river. So, you know, uh, that's one thing there, you know, so... Uh, I believe that, you know, Tom did, um, murder Gary. Now, for whatever reason that could be, I don't, I don't know. Um, it, it could be because of a bogus horse deal, but I doubt it because I don't think Gary would give Tom the money, uh, if there was no horse. So I believe there was a horse, um, but maybe Dixon, you know, murdered Gary because he didn't want to actually get away with the horse, he just wanted money for whatever reason. <clears throat> and then, so he killed Gary, and then, uh, you know, took off or or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, I do I do believe that he did it. Um, 
I'll go with the police is, uh, um, suggestion, you know, that he's most likely dead. I mean, he could be, he, he is in his 80s now, he, or he could be in his 80s, 90s, he, yeah, he could be dead, or he could still be alive, who knows, but, um, yeah, I do believe he did it, and, um, uh, yeah, you know, that's really all I want to say for this video, and, uh, if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, comment, comment in the comment section of, uh, your theories on this case, your thoughts, um, there will be another video after this one, I just gotta figure out what I wanna do, and, um, you know, that's, like I said, that's pretty much all I gotta say for this video right now, and I'll see you in the next one, we're right out.